Often, when we are collaborating with someone in Google Workspace, they share a file or folder with us that will show up under the Shared With Me tab in our drive. Unless you add these items to your own Google Drive where it says My Drive with a shortcut, it can often be challenging to keep track of them. Using shortcuts will make it easier for you to find and organize the files and folders that have been shared with you in ways that make sense for you. Shortcuts point back to the original file or folder so you will always have the latest info even if you are accessing the file from the shortcut on your Google Drive. To create um, a shortcut for a file or a folder, go in to find the file or folder that you want to use and then right click on it and select Add Shortcut to Drive. You'll see that your drive is highlighted and you can use the arrows to navigate to the folder where you want it to be. If you don't have a folder that you want to use, this little icon here will let you add a new folder uh, that you can use to put that new uh, shortcut into. I happen to have the folder I want to use uh, because I am going to be teaching this uh, book study here again this summer and I'm simply going to add the shortcut there. It warns me that it'll be visible to anyone who has access to my folder and that's fine. I want them to see it too. And so now if I go into my drive and into my folder I should, keep your fingers crossed, see that shortcut to that template uh, that I just saved. And you'll know it's a shortcut because there's that little arrow kind of curved and pointing to the right, which is different from a file that actually lives in this folder. So you can do that with files that have been shared for you, but often you might want to move your own files into more than one location. For me, it'll be about professional learning. For you, it might be um, a class that you teach more than one section of, or you're repeating it again this year, and you just need to organize the files for this year, so you're going to create a shortcut uh, from the file that you've been using. So I'm going to go into last uh, fall's Edge of Protocols book study session, and I need this Book of Kucha template uh, in my new book study. Uh, folder. So again, it's the same thing. Uh, although this is my own file, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to um, add the shortcut to the drive and I'm going to, should have scrolled sooner, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to add the shortcut to the drive. Make sure you're high enough up on your screen that you'll actually see the add shortcut button. You've seen me miss that twice and I'm going to browse into my folders again and I am going to put it here which is where I will need it and so I'm going to add a shortcut and now if I go into that folder I will see uh, that shortcut again with that unique arrow so I know it's a shortcut now it's easily accessed this way, but if for some reason I don't want it there anymore, as long as I am the owner of the folder where I have put the shortcut, I can remove it when I don't need it anymore. So again, it would be the same thing. I right click on it, but this time I'm going to remove it, and it's not removing the original file. It's simply removing the shortcut. So I'm going to move it to the trash and then I'm going to go back into my original folder here where you can see that here is that original template not deleted. I simply removed the shortcut. So I hope that this will help you to organize your Google Drive in ways that will make it easier for you to find the files that you need.